It's Verstappen right on the tail. There are Lewis Hamilton and Sergio Perez too. Verstappen goes round the outside of Lewis Hamilton. Has Verstappen got ahead by the time they get to the next corner? They touch the Mercedes of Hamilton and the Red Bull of Verstappen make contact here in Interlagos. Verstappen's got big damage to his wing and has Lewis Hamilton got a puncture? A puncher, right puncher, rear puncher. Okay, copy. Now this is what happened. Verstappen's ahead going into turn one. Hamilton now ahead going into there. Who's at fault? He left me those bits. I think Max had earned the right to a little bit more space there. A five second time penalty for Max Verstappen for causing a collision. He had no intention to give me space, so I know I had no intention to, uh, to back out. Charles Leclerc currently second and earning 14 points. Uh, Sergio Perez currently third and earning 12 points which would rule him out of championship contention and keep Charles Leclerc in it. Max Verstappen has taken the chequered flag to win the Japanese Grand Prix. Well done, mate. You've won it. You see the chequered flag. Well done. Uh, <laughs> nice race at the end, too. Meanwhile, Leclerc goes across the rumble strip. Perez tries to get him on the outside of the final corner. Leclerc comes home to take second place. Yeah, so Leclerc's braked. He's just outbraked himself and gone straight. I personally feel that he's, he's going to have to, well, he's going to lose that position to Checo. And then, did he push Sergio Perez to a place that Perez didn't want to go? Hey, what is he doing, mate? He went off and he pushed me off. He came really unsafe. Well done, Checo. You gave it everything. Um, and uh, yeah, you deserve that one. Well done, mate. Yeah, great job for everyone, guys. It's Max Champion yet? Not quite. Max Verstappen came here wanting to win a world title. And he can't win the world title, but he can win another race. A 12th race win of the season. It seems Charles got a five second penalty for going through the chicane. Max, I think it's maybe have changed for you. World champion. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Incredible, of course. I think I'm, they still one point. I need to. I'm not so. <laughs> what? Okay, thank you. But I'm not, no? Yes, you are. I am? Yes, yes, you are. You yes, sure? Yes. He so. wasn't sure. We certainly weren't sure. Because the race resumed after a red flag, full points could be awarded. Leclerc leads, Carlos Sainz pulls out to the inside and overtakes Max Verstappen and it's a Ferrari 1-2 here in Bahrain. And will Verstappen now be passed by his teammate Sergio Perez? Yes, he has been. And he's been passed by Hamilton and he's been passed by Russell. And this, for the world champion, is certainly not the start he was anticipating. From all the highs in Abu Dhabi to the lows in Bahrain, Perez has been spun round. Sergio Perez has lost it on turn two. And Red Bull, who were looking at a decent points finish here in the last couple of laps, have not only retired from the race, but seen their other driver tumble out of the points. Sergio Perez, nothing he could do about it whatsoever. This is incredible. And off come Manny, oh. compromised now as Fernando Alonso goes off the track. That's a high-speed crash, and he's made contact with Lance Stroll in the Aston Martin. And I hope that Fernando Alonso and Lance Stroll are both OK, but that was a very heavy crash. So Alonso was behind Stroll, then he got a better exit in turn 11. Let's have a look and see what happened here. We go. You OK? Yes, mate. Very late Lance Stroll moves to the left to try and block Fernando Alonso to try and stop the pass. That's when the contact is made. I crashed. Okay, Lance, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Carlos Sainz is going to pit. Is the track dry enough for Carlos Sainz to pit, come out on the dry tyres? Got to put dries on it, surely. 
that's the only way to go for him now. It is. That's Leclerc. They're double stacking down at Ferrari. Charles Leclerc, who was leading this race, leading this race comfortably, came in for intermediate tyres and has uh, had to make a second pit stop. And box now, box, box now, box for hard. Stay out, stay, stay out, stay out. Why, what the person do? Tire position. Leclerc yeah. is not happy about that pit stop. Yeah, Sainz is ahead of him. Sainz is ahead of him, man. They're telling him to stay out, but he obviously was already in the pit lane. He's now lost the lead of the Grand Prix. It's Perez in the Principality. He wins the Monaco Grand Prix. And P4. No words. No words. Aye, aye, aye. The season is long. But we cannot do that. We cannot do that. Carlos Sainz is a long way clear. Behind him comes Fernando Alonso, and behind Fernando Alonso, it's his old teammate Lewis Hamilton, and they make contact! Hamilton rises up into the air, he's made contact with Fernando Alonso. Now we're about to see the contact between the Mercedes and the Alpine. Well, Alonso gave him as much space as he possibly could. It looks to me as if uh, Lewis comes in and pinches him a little bit. Yeah. That's not Fernando's fault. Yeah, only, what an idiot. This guy only knows how to drive and start him first. And for Lewis Hamilton, major disappointment. He was down, very down after qualifying yesterday. He's down and out here at Spa. OK, Max, uh, go and take some points off of Anton Leclerc, please. So here he goes, Verstappen. On Sergio Perez, down the inside, Perez fights it with one hand tied behind his back a little bit. He wasn't going to put up too much defence. Max, if we don't pass Fernando on the exit of 12, can we let Checo through, please? Let Checo back through. OK, if Max does not pass Fernando, he'll let you through the exit of turn 12. Yeah, don't worry about the DRS, Max. Let Checo through. Let Checo through. Max, let Checo through, please. Max, what happened? I told you already last time. I, you guys don't ask that again to me. OK? Are we clear about that? I gave my reasons, and I stand by it. Yeah. Thank you for that, guys. Thank you. I'm sorry about that, Checo. We're DP happy check afterwards. Yeah, it shows who, who he really is. Leclerc. Charles Leclerc! Charles Leclerc is out of the race! And for the third time this season, Charles Leclerc, when leading a race, won't go on to finish it. So unfortunate, especially when you've got that grippy runoff here as well. The blue and red painted kind of stripes in the track is extra grip to try and protect you from doing it. Uh, are, are you okay? I cannot put throttle. I think it's just a mistake. Lost the rear. That's it. Sainz gets away well, as does Lando Norris, as does Lewis Hamilton, who's already ahead of Charles Leclerc and Max Verstappen into Abbey, takes the lead ahead of Carlos Sainz, and at the back, that's George Russell out of this race. And the red flag has now come out to make racing redundant. George Russell running over to uh, see if he can help. I think it's Joe Guan Yu yes. who's also involved with this. We're only seeing these replays. Now we know that he's OK, yes. just, to, just to reassure you. There's the initial contact. That's where the car then is upside down onto the gravel, and then it flips and tries to right itself. And as it does so, that's by the barriers. And then it goes over the tyre barrier and into the catch fencing. So. He was actually, Martin, upside down, as you can see. And the halo very much doing its job before the car digs in. And you do not ever want to see accidents like that. Watch Gasly go to try and follow Latifi here. And is it Gasly that makes the contact? Yeah. Sebastian Vettel goes into the back of Alex Albon. The other good news in that incident is when it hit the catch fencing, which is there to protect the fans, of course. Um, it went floor side into yes. it and not 
halo and headrest side into it. Stefano Domenicali, uh, the man uh, responsible uh, for, uh, for Formula One in conversation with Joe Guanyu, Freddie Vasseur, the Alfa Romeo uh, team principal there too, making sure he's okay. A 1-11-6 for Kevin Magnussen as uh, he crosses the line. Carlos Sainz, though, can't beat it. 1-12-3. There's George Russell, and he's beached that Mercedes. Uh, George Russell is now out of qualifying, and we've got a red flag as well. OK, Kev. What position are we? Um, you're P1, mate. You're kidding. I am not kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding me. I've never, ever felt like this in my life, yeah. guys. It's not over don't, yet. Don't celebrate yet. Don't it's celebrate yet. yet. It's Come on. Over yet. It's not over yet, Kev. If the rain is incoming and the track gets wet, Kevin Magnussen is on course at the moment for his first pole in Formula One. We've got a green light, we're off and running again, guys. But he's on intermediates, Ted. No chance. Yeah. <laughs> Kamatsu cannot believe what has transpired here. Look at the scenes down at Haas, whose owner, Gene Haas, is 70 years old tomorrow. Happy birthday, Gene Haas. How about this for a present? You're on pole for the first time as a team owner. And you know what, for, for all their struggles last year at the back of the grid consistently, Kevin Magnussen, who thought he was out of Formula One until he got the call up to come back and to come back to Haas. Well, the fairy tale has absolutely happened for him here today. And Kevin Magnussen will be on pole position here at Interlagos. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's... Uh... We're on pole, it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's incredible. Thank you.